Shavua Tov. Often the Torah uses a unique word instead of a common one. And clearly, the message is that we have to learn something from it. Yesterday's parasha, Parashat Mishpatim, has one example. The Torah tells us, anashim. If two people are fighting, ishahara, and unfortunately, a woman who's pregnant gets hit in the fight. So, of course, if it's a fatal hit, the man, of course, has to get capital punishment. But if the woman is alive, and what happens is that she miscarries, then the husband of the wife can take the perpetrator to court and sue him. But the Torah uses an interesting word. The Torah says, What does that word mean? So Targum Onkulus and Rashi brings the Midrash. Biflili means Dayanim. He goes to the judges. The Torah uses the word flilim, that's unique, not just the word dayanim. Rabbi Shamsham Raphael Hirsch says that this word teaches us something very important about the mitzvah of tefillah. Lifalel, therefore, means to judge. What is the job of a judge? The judge assesses the situation, looks what's right and what's wrong, truth and lie, and gives us clarity. If we take the word lifalel, and we transform it into the reflexive, the hit pa'el, it becomes lehit pa'el. Therefore, says Rav Hirsch, the goal of tefillah is not necessarily to tell Hashem what we need, but to take moments during the day to judge our life, to see what's right and what's wrong, what's true and not true, and to give us clarity. I believe this message is continued in this week's parasha, in parasha Tiruma. Hashem gives a mitzvah to Moshe and the Bnei Israel to build a mishkan. And at the beginning of the, of the pasuk, the pasuk at the beginning of the parasha, has a grammatical inconsistency. Hashem says, V'asuli mikdash, built for me a sanctuary, V'shachanti betocham, so that I may dwell within them. It should say, V'shachanti betocho. The message is clear. Hashem does not need a sanctuary to live in this world. The goal of the Mishkan, the goal of Ashur, the goal of Tefillah, is for us to be inspired and to bring Hashem into our hearts. As we start the second term of this year, let's find opportunities to take those moments, whether it's during Tefillah, special programs, to grow, so that we not only grow academically, not only grow socially, but we grow spiritually. Looking forward to seeing you. Have a good day.